Hi, this is Kinga from MahabisCrochet.com. In this tutorial, I will show you how to crochet crafts using the bubble single crochet stitch. Make my pretty giraffe block that I have designed as a T2T block. And this is part of my wildlife craft can crochet along, including 29 animal blocks. You can find them all for free on my blog MahabisCrochet.com. I will put a link in the description box below this video. I will also put a link to the giraffe graph so you can print it out and follow along with this tutorial. So let's get started. For this tutorial I am using Red Heart Super Saver yarn in various colors. I am using a 5.5mm crochet hook, a yarn needle to weave in the ends and scissors. I have printed out my graph, my giraffe graph and I have prepared my yarn bobbins. I will use bobbins for each color section. I will have lots of tails to wave in but the result will be really pretty. I will show you how the back it will look after waving in ends. You will read the graph from bottom to the top and from right to left. To work one row in the graph you will actually crochet two rows. The first crochet row will be worked with single crochet stitches reading the first row in the graph from right to left. Then you will crochet the second row alternating bubble single crochet stitches with single crochet stitches and you will read the same first row in the graph but in reverse so from left to right. Each pixel, each square in my graph it is a bubble in my crochet piece. So for each bubble you will work two stitches in the first row and two stitches in the second row. Now let's see how many chains we need to start. You will double the number of the pixels in a row. So we have in our graph 25 pixels, 25 squares in one row. We will double that 25 times 2. And we will add two additional chains. One will be for the turning chain in the first row and one will be for an additional single crochet that we will need at the end of the row. So our starting chain will be 52. As you can see our giraffe graph is a bit challenging. We have color changes that are already happening in the first row. So what we can do I will start working 52 chains using the background color. I'm starting with a slip knot and chain 52. I have worked 52 chains in with blue. I will pick Aran color according to the graph. Wrap it around the hook and pull it through the chain, tighten it up. I will start the first row with Aran according to our graph. I have three pixels with Aran. I will double that and work six single crochet with Aran. I will work the first single crochet into the second chain from the hook. I like to work into the back bumps behind the chain so I will turn my work and work into these little bumps behind the chains. This will give me a pretty edge. You can also work into the back loops of the stitches. I will work into the back bumps. So the second bump will be this one. This is the first bump. This is the second bump. I will work one single crochet into that bump. I will work over the yarn tails. Complete my first single crochet. I will work around the blue yarn strand because I will need it later in the pattern. I have worked the first single crochet. I need five more. Two. Three. Four. Five 
and six. I will not finish the sixth stitch. Having two loops on the hook, I will change colors. I will need cafe latte to the next color section. Having two loops on the hook, I will wrap cafe latte around the hook and finish the last Aaron stitch and single crochet with cafe latte. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six single crochet with Aaron. I will start with cafe latte. I have two pixels with cafe latte. I will work four single crochet with cafe latte. I will work around the blue and the cafe latte yarn tail. Tighten it up. One. Two. Three. And at the fourth stitch, I need to change colors again. I will need another yarn bobbin of Aaron. I have two pixels with Aaron. I will work four single crochet with Aaron. So I will pick another yarn bobbin, Aaron, and finish my stitch with Aaron. Working again around the blue yarn. Tighten it all up and work four single crochet with Aaron. Two. Three. And at the fourth single crochet, I will finish with blue according to my graph. I will work all the next stitches with blue. I have 18 pixels, 18 squares with blue. I will double that, 36, and I will add the additional stitch at the end of the row, as I told you before. So I will have 37 single crochet with blue in the first row. So work all the next chains with blue. I will meet you at the end of the row. I have finished the first crochet row. I will start the second crochet row. It will be the same first row in the graph, but you will read it in reverse from left to right. You will chain one and turn. Row two will be worked with single crochet stitches and bubble single crochet stitches alternating them. You will always start the first uh, stitch with single crochet and you will end with a single crochet. The second row will be started with one single crochet into the first stitch and one bubble single crochet into the next stitch. To work one bubble single crochet stitch you will work four single crochet into the next stitch. One, two, three, and four. You will release the hook from the loop and you will insert it back into the first from the four single crochet you have just made. Count back one, two, three, four. Insert the hook from back to front. Grab the loop and pull it through. You have completed the first bubble single crochet stitch. It will pop on the other side. You will continue to alternate one single crochet into the next stitch and one bubble single crochet into the next one. So I'm working again four single crochet stitches, two, three and four. Releasing the hook, count back one, two, three and four. Insert the hook from back to front, grab the loop and pull it through another bubble single crochet formed. 
So continue this way with blue, alternating one single crochet with one bubble single crochet until you reach the last single crochet with blue. This will be a single crochet with color change. I have two more stitches with blue. I will work one bubble single crochet. And one single crochet with color change into the last single crochet with blue. So I will work the stitch till half. I will place my yarn strand to the right and I will pick Aran color and finish the stitch with Aran. You will always hold the yarn strands on the wrong side, the side with the uh, Bubble single crochet stitches will be the wrong side and they will pop on the right side. Continue working one bubble single crochet into the first stitch with Aran. One, two, three, and four. Release the hook, insert it back into the first. And pull through one single crochet into the next one, one bubble single crochet into the next one, if you like you can work over the yarn tails so you hide it a bit And single crochet with color change into the last stitch with Aran. Pick coffee latte strand and finish the last stitch with Aran with coffee latte. And again, start a new color section with one bubble single crochet into the first stitch, into the last stitch with coffee latte, work again one single crochet with color change. Start a new color section with one bubble single crochet and end it with one single crochet into the last stitch. I'm at the last stitch, I'm working one single crochet into the last stitch, chain one and turn. Now let's see what we have. The first bubble row it is formed. You should have so many bubbles as the pixels in the first row. We have three bubbles with Aaron corresponding to the three pixel with Aaron in the graph. We have two bubbles with cafe latte, two in the graph, two bubbles with Aaron again, two pixels in the graph, and we have 18 bubbles with blue corresponding to the 18 pixels in the graph. So we start row two in the graph. Our third row, crochet row, so we are reading again the graph from right to the left. We need to change colors, we need to start a row with cafe latte, so what I will do for a nice clean color change, I will unravel the last stitch, the last single crochet of the previous row. I will make it again, but until half, I will pick new color yarn. I will pick another bobbin of cafe latte I, and I will finish the stitch with cafe latte. So I can start the next row with cafe latte. I will need my Aran yarn into the third pixel so I will work around it. Working the first stitch, the first single crochet around the yarn tails. The cafe latte and the Aaron one. So one, two, three, and four. At the fourth, I will change to Aaron.
and you will continue to work two single crochet with a run corresponding to the one pixel in the graph. One, and two. At the second one, you will change colors again to cafe latte and work four single crochet with cafe latte corresponding to the two pixels with cafe latte in the graph. Two, three, and the fourth one is here. Sometimes are a bit hidden, so be careful not to lose any of them. For each bubble, you will have two stitches. So I'm at the fourth single crochet with cafe latte. I will need to change colors, change to air one, and work two single crochet with air one, one and two. At the second one, I will change colors again. I will need another bobbin of cafe latte. Wrap it around the hook and finish the stitch with cafe latte. Tighten it up and continue with cafe latte for single crochet. So one. I will work around my blue yarn tail because I need it later. Three and at the fourth I will change to blue. I will work all the next stitches in the row with blue. Work one single crochet in each stitch across. I will meet you at the end of the row. Row four will be worked again with single crochet and bubble single crochet stitches. You will change colors according to the color changes in the third row. So after finishing the fourth crochet row, you will chain one and turn you will have the second bubble row formed. So we have, corresponding to our graph, two bubbles with cafe latte, one bubble with Aaron, two bubbles with cafe latte again, one bubble with Aaron, two with cafe latte, and all the rest with blue. Continue to work the same, working for each row in the graph, two rows, two crochet rows, the first one with single crochet in each stitch across, with the color changes corresponding to the graph and the second one you will work in reverse this, the same row in the graph with single crochet and bubble single crochet stitches. You will always add additional yarn bobbins corresponding to the each color section in the graph. For my crochet piece I have added an additional row of single crochet stitches so I have one row with single crochet at the bottom and one single crochet row at the top of my crochet piece. This is it. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.